all of us who are composers have the same questions, whether you're in your first year in your career or your 10th year or your 15th year, the questions remain the same. And that's the one question is how do I foster a composer career that's sustainable, that actually keeps going? And then the, the other question is how do I propel myself to the next level, meaning getting bigger and better jobs? That's one gigantic challenge for all of us. That how do I get scoring jobs? That's the million dollar question. How do I get meaningful scoring jobs that propel me forward both as an artist and also in my career? Uh, and then the fourth question is, all of us want our music to be heard. So I get, I mean, the most questions, that, these are the kind of questions I get every day for years and years. Will you listen to my music? How do I get jobs? How do I build a career? And that's also kind of a big question and I have a number of practical suggestions to give you. Write phenomenal music write really great music. The strength of your career hinges upon the strength of your music as an artist. Build fantastic relationships. It really all boils down to the people who know you, the people who feel energized and inspired by your music, the people who are willing to risk their reputation and open a door for you. So it really depends on your relationships because our entire career is built upon somebody opening a door for us. Somebody has to open a door, somebody has to give you a chance, an opportunity, first on a smaller job, then on a bigger job, then an even bigger job. It's extremely rare, almost the exception to the rule, that a person is going to give you a gigantic crushing job right away into your career. Most likely people start with giving you small jobs, then these jobs get bigger and bigger. So ultimately, the biggest question, how do we build careers, is by building a very viable, vibrant, amazing network of relationships. So, so far, you know, it's all about your music, it's all about your relationships, and the third, the third thing, it's all about your body of work, which is like the jobs that you've done, your credits. I use this metaphor, I'll come back to the metaphor, you could think of it as pillars, or you could think of it as the wheels, the four wheels of um, this amazing engine. Um, that propels us, propel us forward in our career as media composers. The reason why being a media composer is such a tough career, so complicated, is because it's not just one skill set. It's four skill sets. Again, the strength of your music, the strength of your people skills, your ability to nurture relationships, your ability to project energy and connect with people and inspire people, your entrepreneurial skills, your ability to Speak to people about your music, do the soft sell, do the hard sell, be organic, be comfortable as an entrepreneur, because all of us composers are also entrepreneurs in our career. In a way we pitch ourselves, in a way we pursue relationships or jobs or situations, so your entrepreneurial skills. And technical fluency is something that we composers have to master. And by technical fluency, I mean the strength of your demo, your, ma your, your mixing skills, your uh, synth programming skills, your facility, where your sample libraries, so that's like the fourth skill set. So the career sits on the crossroad, on the nexus of these four skill sets, both artistic and technical and entrepreneurial and personal.